Okay. Because normally... Okay, never mind. You go live, go live. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Play of the J here. We're just about getting started right now with our um, our last round for the evening, in fact, here. So uh, we're going to be seeing that the plane is going to be coming in all the way from this uh, western side and going to go up a little bit towards the southeast of Al Azhar. So, Nubi, what are you expecting from this final round this evening? Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely this this round of the map. Okay, first of all, it's Mirama. So the the map for I mean the the the, the this round for PUBG uh, for Mirama, I think it's gonna be there's a lot of rotations. And it all comes down to the first uh, circle. Uh, see how the teams are gonna be moving into the circle. Uh, definitely also we will be seeing a lot of actions for a lot of the uh, main cities. You can see uh, Picado. We have a lot, like at least three teams there, uh, and you can see like Team Fury having a very good time in Shumachera, and uh, there's gonna be like two to two to three teams at least, and the rest will be heading up further uh, north side. Yeah, so we do have that decent spread. I think some teams are going for some of their favorite spots. I think like Triple X uh, Gaming, if not mistaken, I think they did go for Monte Nuevo. And it looks like Stadium Fighter immediately going to get away here using the vehicles. But I think some of the teams in Parcado, like Zero Gravity, are still going to be very much looting up and here to challenge the team members there from Legendary V2. Oh, and you look at the circle. It's going to be the top north side of the map. Uh, definitely, oh, sure. <laughs> this is gonna be quite uh, an intense match as you can see that the uh, team, uh, the gentleman's club is gonna be right in between the circle, the corner of the circle there at St. Martin's. Uh, I think that's gonna be uh, ideally uh, not so much pressure for them. As for the team Picado, you gotta get moving because the timer is ticking. Uh, definitely circle closes much faster as we mentioned earlier in the early matches. Uh, the, the, game play, the game play and the game pace is definitely uh, much faster than before and uh, you have to be rotating into the circle uh, more efficiently because without V in this map, if you are going to be all the way at the Chumachera or further down uh, south, it's going to be much difficult for you to be going to the top end of the circle. As you can see, uh, Team FFG, they are heading up more uh, north side to Cruz de Val. Uh, definitely a, a very good prime spot because it's almost to the center of the circle. Uh, and of course, we have to see the Al Azahar. We have two different teams there. Uh, we have Team uh, 5C. Zach, uh, together with uh, Bait Team, uh, definitely looting in the same area. Uh, so Jay, what do you think? You know, looting in this uh, mainstream uh, uh, locations, uh, for, for, do you think they will be getting a lot of good loots, you know, good guns, well-equipped uh, uh, gears, uh, good utilities perhaps? I think uh, there's definitely going to be the, the pros and cons for going for like these uh, big towns, uh, El Azahar, maybe like some of them are maybe on the smaller side. Picado, places like uh, San Martin and maybe like you know, on Erangel we see Yasnaya. These are big towns. These are places where teams, if they're very familiar with it, they can be happy mm -hmm. to, to drop here and not worry too much about whether or not um, there's actually going to be other teams dropping there. They can adjust their play styles accordingly. But when they actually do drop into these locations, the main thing that they do think about is... I don't care about other teams. I want to make sure I have good loot. I don't want to be scavenging around the periphery of the suburbs for the whole game, you know? Because, like, sometimes some players, they prefer to really have all the, the geared up items yep. like that. They don't yep. mind using some meds, taking blue damage, this and that, just for a longer rotation. And uh, actually, like on Miramar, they can actually go for longer rotations just because there's so many different avenues available. And uh, that definitely will get teams quite a bit of opportunities. Biko actually getting taken down there by Torque, but uh, G7 going to be uh, still bleeding out for the timing. T Towel going to be coming in just a little bit here, priming the nade out, see whether he can catch him out. Yep, and you can see a couple of fights going on right now. You can see Team Order taking down uh, Escorex from uh, Asbol, Team Asbol, uh, because the, the fights are happening in the Los Leones. I think pretty much, oh, Flood getting on the kill, confirmed kill on Escorex. So basically, the Team Asbol is down to three members, not a very fav favorable situation. And you can see that uh, Team Tree. 
Zero zero gravity finishing him off the last member perhaps. Well, they took out a few Leg of the members there from Legendary V2, and now Legendary V2 only has 24k left. Titel actually still outside on the edge here for Zero Gravity. He's uh, has, uh, much help, but he doesn't need it, Titel. Going to be finishing him off. So yeah, a lot of frantic fighting going on there, but it looks like the Kings of Picada will be Zero Gravity after fending off uh, mm. two teams from the start. And I'm Cold Blood actually blows up. Yeah, and, uh, that I is unfortunate. Was, I think he was uh, running a little bit away from the Gentleman's Club here, but uh, I guess if you don't pay your fees, you're going to get you're going to get people knocking at your door. So that's yep. about it. And, oh, uh, I'm Oh, sorry, sorry. No, <laughs> okay, uh, fortunately, in Team Super X Gaming, they, their, their rotation and kind of get uh, stopped by the Gold, Gold Army Factory. Uh, pretty much full blood is a vehicle as well. It's uh, pretty badly damaged, hence why it was exploded. Much, uh, hence why it exploded much earlier. Uh, Dini is from uh, Stadium Fighter Management. Stay in getting us uh, Team MIBN. A roll getting shot. Shanice, oh, slight TK there. Looks like things are getting a little bit chaotic. Gold Army Factory really in uh, difficult spots here. KMF1 able to make sure that he could take down at least some of the pressure while Dreams being rest by Shanichia here. And now looks like K and Apan are going to be moving on. See whether or not they can get to a better position. DMZ not doing himself any favors there. <laughs> As uh, Actually, I think that was the last player there from Triple X Gaming. And they're going to be out with it. And uh, K actually getting a little bit distracted. KMF1 still on the low ground here. He has to be a little bit careful as he's one of uh, the only members of FFG all the way out here. Afpan still a little bit away. Yep, I can see Afpan slowly rotating in to back up his uh, teammate FFGK. Uh, KMF getting some heavy fires from the two teammates. Uh, Fallout Gaming, sorry, Fallout Gaming, oh my god. FFG <laughs> Fallout. Fallout is uh, taking a couple of good shots, reporting to his teammate that one of the uh, Gold Army Factory members is still around the area, the vicinity of the area, and definitely can see that uh, he is under a lot of pressure right now. Shanice uh, trading, uh, trading hits with uh, FFGK, and she gets taken out. Trading kills from Dreams. Upon getting shots at Dreams. 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 Oh, beautiful play by Kamen. Beautiful play. Dreams Army Factory shooting. rolling up these two members here from the FFG. No, I think they do still have one player left, but he's just not around yep. at all. So, yeah, we're just going to be a little bit further away. Yep. Now and we're already seeing more shots coming in rotation from Stadium Fighter. Yep, as you can see, uh, the team, the team, MIBN, making their way to the middle of the map. A lot of teams are still outside the circle. Team Fury is slowly rotating in. Uh, Mishka is still outside the blue zone. Same goes for Hughes. A lot of them are heading towards the north side of the map. Uh, Whoa, just like that, El Azahar, the battle has been won and lost by Vasily and Woods coming out on top of the two players there from 5CZ. So Vasily going to be getting a second chance in this round here as he's going to continue living on here. Now, as you were mentioning, Nubi, there, there are a lot of teams here moving in from the periphery still and taking quite a little bit of blue damage. But I think this all probably factors into their plans for this particular round. Definitely. Uh, of course, FFG, FFG, uh, is it FFG Goal? They are having a really good time at the Cruise Devel. Yeah, absolutely. Just yep. being able to loot to their heart's content, really stress-free. And I think what they did at the start of the round where they saw the circle is very good. Nice, fluid game plan coming out from them. They're able to make sure, you know, that they can think on the fly. How are we going to try and make this a game better? We're going to make sure that we can get a good looting spot and take into account the flat path as well mm. definitely so jay i would like to ask a little bit of uh, your feedback you can see that uh, stadium fighters they have their team split up two two you know one right in the middle the circle oh the circle is closed uh and def definitely can see jenkalewa and udin king is still outside the blue zone uh definitely having um, a little bit difficulty getting into the the, the circle i think um, having this kind of strategy that we have here now 
assuming that it's not like, say, two of them were AFK or anything like that, you know, it does hedge mm. the bets a little bit for teams, you know, I would expect to see this kind of split maybe happen a little bit more on Miramar than Erenga. Largely because you drop in two different, very different places. You're trying to make sure that your team doesn't get wiped out in one go. And also, sometimes uh, on Miramar, you do have a lot of these buildings which they got a high amount of loot, but they're all kind of scattered all around the map. So yep. you do want to try, by having uh, two and two, you limit the risk of getting wiped out one go, and you can still collect loot. And you can have like maybe one team which might be closer to the circle than the other, depending on how things are going to be shaping up. It could definitely guarantee maybe a certainty of getting a certain amount of uh, high placing. So it could definitely be done, you know, and there are the merits to it. But of course, you do run the risk of just not being able to tank up in te team fights. But that's again where the map. Um, topography and playstyle comes into play because Miramar were likely to still have large amounts of space in between all the teams here until the very later stages. So maybe like at this circle, this is probably where we're gonna see Stadium Fighter start to group up just a little bit more. Yep, definitely. Definitely, you can see Wolf getting an amazing shot on Jan Joker finishing him off. As Jan Joker was trying to rotate into the circle, his teammate Hughes is making a huge detour, uh, heading forward to the top north of the map. As you can see, uh, the rest of the remaining teams are slowly but surely getting into the circle. Uh, so I think like FFG is a little bit of um, pressure there. FFG's goal is getting some pressure from team number three, which is zero gravity. Uh, and you can see that the s team are slowly getting to the bottom side of the circle. FFG training hits with uh, one of the uh, Zero Gravity members. I think they spotted out uh, the uh, Zero Gravity members uh, in the town as well. Trip a couple of hits. Yeah, looks like Ivor here going to be the one trying to get some of those long-range shots while they're trying to get up their team member in this... Uh uh, the church at the moment on the edge of Cruz de Vale, but a lot of other teams here are just going to be completely bypassing Cruz de Vale entirely. No one wants to rotate through yep. these urban areas at this stage of the game. It does yep. put uh, a lot of risk attached to it, uh, which you just really don't need to have. You know, I mean, we still got 17 teams here in this game, and you really do need to find out these kind of rotations. As we already see that uh, the team members here from MIBN already taking up this position quite early. They have Gentlemen's Club a little bit to the southwest here, and trying to just put a little bit more fire in their direction if they can. But uh, this, this is where things are just going to get increasingly crowded. It, yep. We're only at the 12-minute mark. shows you just how much the, the game has kind of accelerated with the kind of circle settings that we're currently starting to see. But of course, it's nowhere near to say like what you might see with some of the Korean scrims or Korean stuff, where yep. you can already see the circle when you get out of the play. You know? So all the teams are already congregated in one area. They have three times ARs, this and that. This is still very much of the, the general PUBG settings, you know, used by uh, PUBG itself. But now we're already seeing home invasion coming in here in the form of zero gravity. Yep, you can see Splinter uh, fully aware of a uh, team no from zero gravity com uh, coming in. Uh, definitely one of these members got taken out uh, earlier, but then uh, the teammate managed to pick him up. Uh, but they are fully aware of the uh, zero gravity members who are right below them. Uh, for the time being, you can see Team Fury is still way, way out of the map. But they're still in the blue zone. I'm pretty sure they have ample amount of uh, uh, mats for them to survive. Uh, B2 getting brief shot on Graph and Dreams taking down Viper from Team AWM. A uh, couple of fights going on right now and everyone working for the team. Uh, Dreams having putting a lot of pressure into AWM. Ooh, oh, that, Johnny Walker that... going for a wheelie oh. there. A little bit of distraction tactics there if I ever saw them. <laughs> but he's going to continue onwards there as Joker is going to be able to get up. Viper X here is uh, now they're going to see whether or not they can alleviate the pressure from Dreams in KMF1 that is being exerted on them. Splinter and uh, Jeff Jakovsky here still hanging out in this building here, but Jakovsky has actually moved down to the lower room here for the time being and friends is here moving around in very much the very cautious manner and he actually manages to escape with 6 HP there. This is the 
a splinter coming down here. But Tito going to be able to put the finishing touches there onto him there. While the rest of uh, the players that have zero gravity come and back them up. Six kills on the board for them. They've been doing pretty decently, in fact. I think, uh, especially when it comes to those team fights, they've proved to be quite proficient. Yep, definitely. Uh, Gentleman's Club having one of the skills in the game. Definitely had to make the hate shot. The long range shot into he says what? I just have to <laughs> do that. Man. I just love saying that. Which nothing <laughs> wrong. Nothing wrong with that. I'm down with that. Yeah, and you can see King Fury there. They are still surviving outside the circle. They still okay. Sorry for the snort. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just for anyone who doesn't know, Noobie is kind of recovering from illness, so uh, yeah. we'll, we'll give him that one. <laughs> yeah, and you can see a couple of fights going on right now. Oh, Joker getting taken down by Minimize. Minimize, very well played by him. Uh, team Grim Gaming uh, taking one of the, the team members from AWM down and leaving the team, the team Grim Gaming with the last, sorry. Team AWM with the last two members there. Uh, however, they are still in the circle. They still can play it safe. Uh, still, you know, they can go for placements. 17 teams left, 60 minutes into the game. You can see there's a lot of people going in. And Yoon Jang and taking a couple of shots. Zero gravity, just escaping his shots there a little bit, but uh, they did take quite uh, the unusual route there, try and circumvent, but they do have the nice high ground advantage here. They should be able to see the whole of Tierra Bronca right now from that vantage point here, as uh, they do have uh, the players there from Gentleman's Club and one player there from Grim Gaming going to be residing into the low ground. Osbol under pressure now, they did lose Rain Zera just now. Um, uh, coming in from uh, that pressure, coming in from both Gold Army Factory and Stadium Fighter. But now we're having a lot of teams getting sandwiched really close together here. Oh, Blade Heavy Fire from Stadium Fighter. Did he manage to get out? Yes, he did. And the circle is on Blade. Oh, wow. So it looks like uh, things are going to get even more congregated here. Oswald having one other place. K-Bite still a little bit further away for the time being, but now it looks like MIBN here facing a lot of pressure in the compound. Group point starting to move in together with the rest of TMA and see whether or not that they can put the, the pressure onto them. Beast moving up here. Oh, he does have Organic and Noob Noob. Uh, 101 watching the back here is trying to move in while Yung Jang is still out of commission here. But uh, they are taking a lot of fire. Maybe this time also just getting fuel up just a little bit more. Beast starting to move and it's Raven takes a lot of hit there and Beast official going to rack one up there. But it looks like Yung Jang going to get taken out by a third party there. This routine, the gentleman's club trying to strut their stuff. Oh, the amount of fight is ongoing right now. Two is the smallest circle. You can see team, 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 MIBN, you know, coming on top from that. Yeah, exactly. It looks like uh, TMA, while trying to push into the compound, just not able to come out of it. And it looks like we're having zero gravity trying to fend off FFG gold here. But they are trying to move a little bit closer. Fico is already down here. Going to be leading out. I don't think that anything Ooh. else is going to be happening. Oh, a little bit of uh, pan action coming to the, to the aid there. But now they are trying to congregate their position here while everyone is starting moving. Blade, last player left alive for Osmo here. Has to pop off the heel. k -Bite's already taken down. Errol is priming the nade. It could eat him up. Oh. But looks like he gets kill stolen right there as Shaki uh, is going to finish him off there for a team pathogen. And now we're going to see all these other players moving in here. Things are getting hectic. Stadium Fighter is out of this game there as they're just not able to come away from that fight here. But Osmo also going to be taken out there. Now it looks like we're having those players coming in from Team Pathogen moving here on this eastern side of the circle. Yeah, but definitely have to command on the team number 12, which is going to be the last member of Outsiders. Hugh's playing it really safe, and then he's the only last member of uh, team 12 right now, and he managed to make it to the circle all alone. And uh, of course, he's getting pressure from team Dreams Gaming, uh, definitely, but he is in the uh, cover right now. Uh, hopefully he, he doesn't get a headshot. He's the last member for Team 12 right, uh, that's ongoing right now. Team Fury uh, good, getting a good shot on FFG Ibor. Uh, Wolf trading kills with them. Uh, having Floyd behind, backstabbing them. They are now being sandwiched from the front and back. Right. 
Yeah, absolutely. It looks as though awesome force in here moving in and trying to strut their stuff here as well. As uh, we're seeing Bullet L here trying to really make things difficult. So is Insane Floyd. Insane Floyd actually moving in to try and put the finishing touches there onto Lucko. But he's currently going to be the last player left alive here for Fury while Insane Floyd goes hunting. And uh, all this while, they do have the other players in the near vicinity in the form of MIB and and, uh, and whatnot here. But now it looks like Pathogen facing long-range fire coming in from the, the Grim Gaming guys. As uh, little do they know, there's going to be all three team members here from Allegiant Gaming moving in on their position. Mm, Woods get been uh, get, uh, gotten taken out by one of the uh, members from Allegiant, Allegiant Gaming. And you can see that the rotation in from other teams, from Team Legion Gaming coming in to finish off one of the Patrick members. FFG putting pressure into Team Awesome Fossum. Do you call it Awesome Fossum? Uh, I think it's Awesome Fossum. Uh, yeah. I think I, I was literally calling Awesome for some. Um, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, I think that's probably the better way to say it. But anyways, you think it's us later on how right or wrong we are. But in any case, looks like there's going to be a lot of pressure on that side of the, the circle right now. As yep. actually now we're seeing Gentleman's Club having a very central position in Tierra and Ronka. They're, they don't actually have to move too much to actually still be within a bit, quite a bit of cover. So is Grim Gaming here as well. It's actually all these here on the Hydra that's attracting a lot of attention here. Yep, that's for, that's 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 definitely for sure. Uh, both Grim Gaming and the uh, Gentleman's Club having the prime position of the circle right now. Of course, you can see the sneaky little Hughes, Hughes is it Hugh Hughesy Hughesy, you know, sneaking into the circle as well. You know, being the last member of the team, uh, he's still uh, strong, surviving very strongly right there. And you can see the rotation from Team MIBN taking a bit of a detour after heavy fires from Team. Uh, awesome Fossum and now Insane Floyd taking down Jack Jayaku Jack Jayaku Seven, Risky from the other end of the map taking the finishing off. And now it looks like it's a little bit dicey here. It looks as though these two teams are going to be locked at horns right now. They're both inside the zone, but they don't seem to want to let this go. I board actually getting taken down by. One of the zero gravity players there, and then gonna get on the board. And now Tushik and Iron Bukte here are gonna be the last ones to try and deal with it. But it looks like uh, the players of zero gravity are gonna be happy to stay oh. in that little shack on the hill. But oh, insane Floyd coming up big. Definitely have to uh, say, uh, command on the uh, friendly friendly fire gaming. Um, you know the interaction. I think there was a miscom because the teammates were a little bit too far apart, leaving the Iron Bukte uh, facing three members of the awesome awesome guys i think that's a little bit too much pressure for him but i think um ideally this is a game of survival i think he told his member you know run off me from there right off alone <laughs> leave me behind that's, to win the game for me <laughs> that's entirely possible that's entirely yeah. possible but more more like you know he's gonna say like uh oh well you you better like uh, get out of here, otherwise like uh, you're gonna owe me like twenty dollars or something like that. You know, <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever it takes to motivate the other player to actually get moving here. But Gold Army Factory is still alive here in the southern side of the circle through KMF One and Dream having eight kills between them. Yeah, but I think uh, the Goal Army Factory spotted Vasily from Team Pathogen. Uh, definitely taking a couple of shots of Vasily, making a little bit of detour. FFG coming close to game Goal Army Factory KMF. A uh, couple of long-range fights from Yun Jang and taking down K Franks from the other side of the map. I think um, heavy, heavy pressure coming. I mean, going on to the team Allegiant Gaming. I think uh, the rotation in to the circle kind of um, give them a little bit of a disadvantage over the guys from uh, Grim Gaming. You know, with the prime position that they have uh, much earlier. Circle slowly closing in. We have a whole uh, <laughs> army factory. Uh, been meeting up with the FFG guy. Is he gonna be fighting? And oh, one of the, the last member of FFG, Tushik, is out of the game. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate for Tushik here. He's really trying to stay alive, and uh, Hughes, he really knows how to stay alive. He's hiding behind a shower curtain from Nani Core. So, uh, <laughs> well, well, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. And it looks like we have players here from Awesome Force in here coming over the top and uh, really putting some pressure on the streets and uh, game at one. One gonna be coming around the side, knocks down Bullet, but he's gonna take one from Insane Floyd, and that's gonna be it. Bullet L gonna be uh, rest here very soon, taking a bit of long range fire 
coming out from Vasily, but now it looks like uh, we're having B getting taken down by the players of uh, Gentleman's Club as he's trying to get down. Circle is moving a little bit further south here, and now, now it looks like Oryx here also facing a little bit of pressure himself. Yeah, uh, meantime, uh, Legends was knocked out of the game by Team Grim Gaming as the rotation was into, uh, moving in closer to the circle. You can see uh, MIBN slowly getting in the position in the uh, tier one of the Tierra Bronca buildings. Of course, you can see one of the members was taken down much earlier. Uh, While well, you can see uh, Team Awesome Farsome still out of the circle, trying to find a better position from the higher ground. Vasily is still outside, still looking for a way in. Uh, kind of like having a little bit of tough time because he's m I, I don't think he has much cover from the outside part of the map. Uh, definitely being pressured by the uh, Team Awesome Fossum. I think they spotted him taking a couple of shots. He's trying to run out, do some zigzags. Yeah, so Vasily probably going to move in with the zone here. He's going to wait for these other teams to start engaging uh, with some of the others. Like Awesome Fossum here, maybe one of the teams that might be caught out there. And looks like Best Get Wrecked here, going to get picked up by Nani Core. And uh, now things are heating up on this northeastern side of the of Tierra Bronca that's still inside the circle. And uh, that's going to be an opportunity for Sealy and also Awesome Force of starting to move in here, take advantage of the opportunity here for right now. Looks like Husey is still going to be taking the longest shower ever. <laughs> as, um, he wants to try and get a very clean victory. Yep, definitely seven teams in the game, 26 minutes in. Uh, with 18 people alive, you see Vasily slowly rotating in. Uh, and of course, you can see Awesome Fossil members are actually in the circle. Everyone is basically in the circle. I think the last circle is going to be a very crucial moment for all the teams because we have to find out is it going to be um, in directly the middle uh, and getting taken out by Yun Jang. And then going out in the best way possible in a ball of flames, no less, as uh, Friends is here. Going to have to try and manage it all by his lonesome here. Proud putting friends on to awesome force him. Friends is, ooh, not quite spotted out there by Proud, but he probably has bigger fish to fry for the time being here. As now we are in our second last circle, and it's going to be quite central here in the middle of this urban area. So it's going to make for an interesting finish here. As now Friends is here actually making the push all the way close to Prowl here. Prowl? Uh, Prowl? Sure He's Prowl! 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 Princess with 10 HP, able to get through there. No! Prowl, well played. So he's in uh, under pressure for a bit, fighting Risky. Risky finishing off uh, Francis. Francis, is that and Francis? 10 kills on the board there for uh, Gentleman's Club. It looks like they're going to get the res off on Prow, and it looks like Insane Floyd facing pressure from Vasily here on the <laughs> high ground. He's going to be trying to get these shots there. I think Aurex does know of the danger here. He's going to turn around, but ooh. Uh, ooh, not able to get the shots there at that moment. And now Vasily with only 5 HP. He has no meds, no except meds. For one bandage. He's going to be. Take it oh. down right there. Night kills for the team pathogen. Yep, you can see that uh, Vasily tried really hard. So you can see that uh, Gentleman Gaming down to four men strong uh, with Team Grim Gaming hitting in. Oh, get taken out by another team, by MIBN. Maybe this time finishing off Orox. Orox. And you can see uh, Bullet LX pressuring the MIBN. There's a lot of crossfires happening, cross firing happening right now, and uh, definitely uh, Grim Gaming has to figure out a way to cross the road, minimize getting taken down by Newton with a beautiful shot from uh, L with his SLR. Bullet L finishing up in Nani Core. Oh, sorry, taking down Nani Core. I think his position was a, bit, a little bit um, open. You can see the team slowly rotating in. Grim Gaming trying to cross the road. Insane Floyd, are you going to spot him? Ooh. Are you able to do the jump shot coming out there from Bullet L as he was pushing into the building, taking down um, Nani Core? But um, now it looks like uh, there's still going to be the two other players there from uh, gentlemen, Gentleman's Club that's trying to put pressure onto them. But it looks like Awesome Force are moving into the zone here. They did lose Wall Wolf 
for the time being here, but Bullet L and the same boy going to manage it. They got 10 kills here in this game. We also have the players here from MIBN also going to be starting to push inside the building here. Maybe this time also looking for the angle to push up and get some action onto uh, the players there from Grim Gaming. Yep, I think they do know that someone is at the stairs. Maybe this time get taken down by Jet and Jin. Beautiful, beautiful shot there. I think he just covered from the top end. CD Ready got taken down by Insane Floyd. Insane Floyd still outside the circle, trying to make his rotation in. Um, CD Ready getting. Ready. He got finished off, right? Is that that yeah, is a yeah. finish off, right? CD, CD Ready is down and out here. As uh, now, there's still going to be the pressure from the south side here, but does look like they are just inside the zone here. Not a lot of playground, playable area left here. Husey actually is <laughs> good as he's still alive here, and he's being this absolute survivalist right now. He's the super ninja, man. He's the super ninja of this game right now. Super clean ninja. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> And then you can see Insane Floyd now engaging Yun Jang, taking down taking Yun Jang down with the headshot with his M4. Uh definitely uh, the rotation into the circle. There's three teams clumped up to the bottom right end of the circle. Risky taking some shots into the one of the members from Awesome Fossum. And of course, Jet Engine. No, Jet Engine accident oh, no. himself. Maybe this time taking down Insane Floyd and uh, Bullet L trading kills. Getting maybe this time, but this game off. Oh, not able to save Insane Floyd. Best get wrecked. Going to get up Yun Jang now. And we are down to six people left alive. But looks like Prowl with the awesome nade coming in there. Taking down Yun Jang. Best get wrecked. Going to get him back up here again. But the next nade. Oh, oh. Not able to get through the window there. And now Bullet L escapes with just a sliver of health. Yep. You can definitely see that the uh, remaining teams are slowly inching in. Hughes still doing his best ninja moves, you know, just moving in and standing there. Best get wrecked. T is proning by the side of the wall. I'm pretty sure that he knows the members of uh, Team Gentlemen's Club are still around the corner, the top angle of the building. Uh, definitely the team, uh, sorry, definitely the members of a gentleman club have the prime position. Of course, the, the higher. The higher you are, the best view you get. Yeah, absolutely. And right now, actually having a here, but it looks like he's going to get finally caught out. And now we're down to three teams. Uh, looks like Young Jack going to return the favor for best get wrecked here as Prow and Risky going to be still hanging out on the high ground. But thing is, they are very central to the circle. They can avoid the for as long mm. as possible, but Young Jack coming up big there. That's probably going to be some. Uh, Go sign, but Prowl oh. on top of the things here, quite literally <laughs> here, as he was able to pop up and get the, the pick there. Now, looks like uh, they're going to reset the battle here just a little bit while they get yep. each other up. But QZ is going to be the one who might be the wild card. Here. He's going to be able to influence things. But the high ground advantage is proving to be quite uh, quite successful here as Prowl able to take down the best guy. I think they have like... Uh, 100 knocks between the two players here from um, the MIBN players, but now looks like Prow trying to get into a better spot here. Best get wrecked here. Uh, going to be bleeding out here. Not going to be able to get the rest of that time. But Yu Jang will be able to get Prow down now. As he starts to move in as uh, Risky here, able to take him down, and now it's down to a 1v1 situation. Risky here, <laughs> gonna be facing off against Husey. And uh, I don't know about you, but Husey, I think he's got this in the bag. He has been oh, the sole survivor for what seems like the entire game. And he comes out on top and wins it for the Outsiders. Oh my god. <laughs> Hughes, oh my god, Hughes, you are a champion. Uh, that was awesome fake coming out by Husey. He was hiding in the shower for ages there. One kill in this game, but one kill is all that's required to finish off everything in the best way possible. So there was a nail-biting fight there between MIB and, and Gentlemen's Club for the longest part. But Husey is the one who's going to come out on top. Yeah, you know... The way he moves, the way he's rotation in, the way he, he tries to ninja out of the way, have a good shower, he comes out clean. <laughs> oh, man. 
so awesome place coming out from him as they take that first spot in in second position we are going to get gentlemen's club coming up big they did have fantastic position in that circle five kills going to prow and risky going to be getting four kills together with muted and third place of course we are going to be getting uh, the players there from MIBN, so able to really come out with it. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> they seem as though they were playing tag, trying to get each other up. Yep, because uh, definitely the uh, Prowl, Prowl and Risky, they had like really good advantages in terms of the uh, the area, you know, being on top of the building. Uh, however, Hughes was just, you know, underneath the building, just did 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 dum dum, and then later, then you know, like down to the last two members he just came out kill uh the last member of uh what team is it again sorry <laughs> is it awesome foursome is uh, it? awesome foursome is fourth fourth position fourth. okay yeah yeah but uh, kind of you know the way you look at it the the game plays from everyone honestly speaking is down to their rotations and uh of course your firepower uh but well played to hughes kudos to all the teams that played today thank you very much yeah, absolutely. I think GG well played to everyone, and uh, I think that's going to be it for the four rounds here. Just a big thanks to everyone who liked and shared out the stream. Much appreciated. Uh, special thanks to Samson QX for the 50 stars. Really appreciate that. And of course, biggest thanks to Newbie for being my uh, co caster here for this evening for the Battle Arena PUBG uh, scrim matches. Um, so, Newbie, any, any final words? Uh, no, just like to thank those guys. I mean, uh, thank you to everyone who is actually watching and actually spending your time to uh, listen to us. And uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to co cast with you, Jay. Hey, no problem. Anytime, man. And look forward to the next one. So, uh, guys, that is it from us. Thank you so much for tuning in to play in the Jay. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.